Why shouldn't I be perfect? Should I accept my flaws and shortcomings? Or should I grind myself into a more perfect shape? Forever chipping away at myself, chasing perfection, but never quite reaching it. Should we do the same with our world? Force it into a perfect mold? One Japanese philosophy says we should not. Wabi-sabi is a Japanese philosophy dating back centuries. The essence of wabi-sabi is finding the beauty in every aspect of imperfection in nature. It is a philosophy that emphasizes things are imperfect, impermanent, and incomplete. The word wabi expresses impermanence and imperfection, while the word sabi conveys the process of time and the effects it has on an object. From the philosophy of wabi-sabi is born the practice of kintsugi. The tradition of kintsugi, meaning golden seams, is also known by the name kintsukurai, which means golden repair. No one knows exactly when the practice of kintsugi first began, but its beginnings are often associated with the legend of the 15th century Japanese military ruler whose antique Chinese celadon glazed bowl had broken. He sent for the bowl to be replaced, only to be told that the piece was so rare there wasn't another one like it. The original bowl was returned to him repaired with metal staples. Another legend of the origin of Kintsugi is of a Japanese warrior in the 17th century who would buy cheap ceramic pottery, break it, repair it with Kintsugi techniques, and sell it for a profit. Whether this was the origin of the practice or not, Kintsugi evolved over the years to using a lacquer with very fine pieces of gold in it to repair broken items, typically pottery. The lacquer in traditional Japanese kintsugi is known as urushi, which is made from tree sap. This material has been used by Japanese lacquer masters for thousands of years. The traditional method of kintsugi begins by using the lacquer to glue the ceramic pieces back together and to fill in any gaps or holes. This step in the process is made more difficult by the fact that all of the pieces must be put into place at the same time, regardless of how many pieces there are. The lacquer must dry, sometimes for weeks. Then it is sanded down before the final step of painting the seams with gold. Maybe this is the way we should approach ourselves and our world. Instead of eternally grinding ourselves down and chipping away at our world, we should begin to put the pieces back together. Perhaps we should find a way to make our imperfections more beautiful, golden and whole once more. The way of wabi-sabi and the art of kintsugi show us that there is beauty in patching the holes.